Hi everyone, welcome back to Barbie Hospital. Today we're going to be trying to remove some in-ground ink from this beautiful Barbie's face. I purchased her for only $2 and I just love her. Now, the first thing I usually try is this acetone nail polish remover. So I'm giving it a go, but unfortunately it did not even budge the ink. It is so ground into her skin. It looks just like a black pen to me, but it really was not budging at all with this acetone nail polish remover. So I moved on to the next suggestion, which I found online, which is to use pimple cream. So I'm going to try a pimple cream. Now, the important thing is that it has to have uh, an active ingredient of benzyl peroxide, as you can see here. Now, the higher, the better and the quicker it will work. I could only find this 5% benzyl peroxide. So that's what I'm going to use. Now I'm just applying it. Firstly, I started applying it carefully, but as you'll see, this did take quite a while. So over time, I ended up just developing a method with my finger. The most important thing is that you don't let this benzyl peroxide touch any of the paint on the Barbie's face because it will take off her face paint as well. So here you see, this is just after the first day and not much has changed that I can see. And here is day two of applying the benzyl peroxide. So I did learn that you need to actually apply heat to the benzyl peroxide in order for it to be activated. So what I ended up doing was placing her out in the boiling hot sun. Now I'm in Queensland, Australia, so it works pretty well here. And that will just dry it right up and activate that acid. So, or whatever peroxide, the peroxide. So um, that will then activate the peroxide and make it actually seep into the plastic and hopefully start breaking down and breaking up the ink. As you can see, after her first full day in the sun, she does look like her ink has faded a little bit. You might be tempted to give up, but don't. Just keep putting the cream on and keep putting your doll out in the sun. Okay, so here we are. She's been, she's had two rounds. We're gonna see how this one comes off. After the first round, I'm not that hopeful, but we'll see. I can't tell, but to me, it doesn't look faded at all. So I'm not sure if this is going to work, this hack or removing ink. So yeah, I think it's a black pen. That's my guess is that it's a black pen. So you would think it'd be removable with this method. It's supposed to be. Anyway, I'll do another round. One thing that we can try is using a hair dryer to quickly dry it out. So I might try that method. Update, we've done about five rounds of Clearasil and the hairdryer. I think it is fading very slowly. So I'm going to keep doing this. It might take me actually a couple of days, I think. So another update, uh, I did use the hairdryer, but only one night. I just stopped using it because it was too time consuming. You had to sit there for a long time. So I actually found that the sun method was the easiest and quite effective. So that's what I ended up going with. And as you'll see, I did quite a few rounds. I believe the end amount of days that she was in the sun was approximately 21 to 25 days in the sun in order to achieve my final result. So as you can see, it's starting to fade. She has got visible signs that the ink is actually fading. There were a few days where I decided to put Glad Wrap over the doll as well in order to just concentrate the heat and the cream and to prevent the cream drying out. But it ended up being quite fiddly and it didn't really seem to make much difference. So I did end up just continuing to apply the cream straight onto the doll and putting her out in the sun that way. Okay, so there she is after three days of applications. I actually do think it's fading. You can see it's a lot lighter. So hopefully 
I think in a couple more days, we might have a pen-free face. One video I watched said that it could take up to a week to clear. Okay, so here she is after about a week. So you can see the progress. It is fading, the ink is breaking down. This ink is just so ingrained into her face. It must have been some kind of really good quality pen that this child had used. And as you can see, I was starting to gain hope by this point that the ink actually would be removable and I might be able to salvage this beautiful doll. You can barely see it. This is about eight to nine days later. I reckon we'll still need another probably five days. Let's see. Okay, so as I said earlier, it did end up taking about three weeks, but this is the final result. As you can see, she looks stunning. Now I've dressed her back in her original outfit, which I have no idea what doll she is. So please, if you do know, please enlighten me. She's got this stunning pink fluffy shawl, a beautiful yellow boob tube, and this gorgeous tartan skirt. I just love this doll. For $2, I feel like the clothes in itself were so worth it. But yeah, as you can see, her ink really did remove and you can barely see where it used to be. So see how strong it was to begin with. It was this really deeply ingrained black pen. And now here she is out in the sunlight and there is still a very faint outline of the ink. But overall, I'm really happy with how the doll turned out and I would definitely recommend this method. So if you have a doll with ink grained into her face, do try this hack. It does work. Don't give up. Just keep trying. Make sure you put her in the hot sun or under a heat source and you will get results. I hope you like this video and don't forget to subscribe.